everybody, it's Angela. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Today we have a very special video. It is what's in the bag for 2022, what I'm going to be playing this year. It might change in the near future because, you know, I always like new stuff. But for right now, this is what I got in the bag. So if you guys like this video, share, like, subscribe, and stay tuned to see what I got. First thing we're going to start off is the wedges, the holy grail of the golf bag, as I always like to say. I got 58, 54, 50. They all have 10 degrees of bounce. I got the black matte finish on here. Well, it was, but now it's kind of like faded. I got my NS Pro Stiff 850 graphite shaft, graphite steel shaft. They're men's standard length, thank you very much. Um, yeah, your girl can hit that. <laughs> So, why I chose the Mac Daddy 4 wedges, honestly, first off, they were free. Second off, these ones spun the best, they bounced the best, and I tested them with my golf ball and they worked. Trajectory-wise, they were really good. I have the same milled grind on each of them, are milled. Um, there's different grinds, different wedges that creates different spin. And of course, the customary green color, because y'all know I like green. Um, that's how you know it's my wedges. So if you see this on the golf course, let me know, because I forget my clubs all the time. But these are my wedges. All right, next I got the middle section of my bag. I got pitching wedge to five iron. Five iron is my highest iron and pitching wedge is my last wedge. And all my clubs are gonna be the same from pitching wedge to five iron. All my actual clubs have the same grip, the black on black golf pride new decade. They all have the NS Pro shaft. And these are actually made in Japan. They're really nice. And I got the Callaway Apex Forged irons just because they look really thin and they feel really good when you hit them good. When you don't hit them good though, they don't feel good like any other club, but I really like these irons. They're very consistent. They have really good trajectory because you need that going into the greens and I can spin them really good with this. Spin them meaning holding them, not spinning backwards. You never really want to have backspin in irons. Um, so that's why I chose the Callaway Apex Forged irons. They're pretty good. You should try them out. This is my Callaway Professional Staff head cover because you know that's super nice. Anyways. <laughs> Actually, this is a four, uh, no, wait, three hybrid, I always forget, three hybrid 20 degree Apex Callaway hybrid. I got the Tour AD graphite design 75 gram shaft. It's really nice. Look at this black on black club matching with the black on black grip. Tell me this club does not look good. I mean, yeah, because you know, I love color. Um, I really love this hybrid because it's really thin to an iron, but it's really forgiving as well because I don't have a four iron, so that's why I picked the three hybrid. Um, and, but it's 20 degrees, so basically it's an in-betweener between the five a four and a three hybrid um, and it kind of goes I would say 175 185 there's a lot of roll I can get into it but I hit a lot of knockdown and three-quarter shots with this this club has saved me a lot of times on the golf course when I miss the fairway but uh, yeah three hybrids is a favorite and now for uh, you know my favorite decorated golf clubs recently I got this for actually for Christmas so thank you um, this is my BT 21 head cover this is the character Tata because for all you know or all you people who don't know who BTS is they have their own cartoon line for each member in that famous Korean boy band group that's my favorite anyways <laughs> underneath the head cover is my five hybrid or five fairy wood epic flash um, I have the speeder 661 evolution 3 stiff Fujikura shaft man that is a mouthful to say anyways this nice speeder shaft that looks like a racetrack and I still have my black on black grip as well and this five wood is a lifesaver it's very um, accurate I don't really miss with this because it has a jailbreak technology. I blame it on the club, but you know, when I miss the shot, I'd still blame it on the club. But yeah, that's my five wood with my Tata -ta cover. <laughs> so for my three wood, I got the uh, Jungkook version of the character from BT21. Look how cute this little pink bunny is. And just so you guys know, disclaimer for you people who don't know me personally, I never was one of those people who had like characters or cartoons on their golf bag. But ever since BTS came out with their new line, I was like, I'm going over to the dark side. <laughs> If you need to find me, just look for these head covers. <laughs> and then I have the same three wood, the Epic Flash, same shaft, everything. This one's just a 15 degree head. Everything is neutral in the setting because I like to control if I can fade it or draw it. But this is a really good three wood as well. This one probably goes at least 220 with carry and roll. Pretty far. But, you know, this is a couple years old technology. We might try something new in the future. Who knows? But, you know, this club's going to be very well decorated in the meantime. Because, uh, you know, I think it's such a cute bunny, right? <laughs> So driver, got my LPJ head cover, which I am certified by LPJ, but it might be changing to another character soon, don't know. You all know this is my favorite club, my Epic Flash Tour driver head. 10.5 degree neutral positioning, and this shaft is one of my all-time favorites, the Atmos Fujikura 65 stiff shaft. I mean, look how cool that shaft looks. The black, the red, the whites. It just looks like a player's shaft, right? You wouldn't see this on a 
person that shoots 100. Like only real people can handle an Atmo shaft, just so you know. Also have my same decked out black on black grip and put it all together is this nice, sexy, epic driver <laughs> that I will forever probably keep in my bag unless there is a driver that goes obviously farther than it and more accurate and it looks prettier. So it's got a lot of competition. Yes, it's a couple years old. I've had it for at least four years, but it doesn't really break. I mean, it's worked out. Look at all my prints on my driver. It's pretty good and it's pretty straight. So yeah, that's my driver. <laughs> the club that makes all the dough with the Make It Rain putter head cover. I mean, y'all, look at this, the green and the blue. It's so me, right? Make it rain as in, you know, money make it rain. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is actually one of the first blades I've ever had in my bag. It's the Odyssey San Diego Toulon putter. Um, pretty standard to like a Scotty Newport too or something like that, but I really like this club because it is half graphite, half steel shaft. It's one of the first putters to have like a dynamic shaft in putters. Uh, putters before this never really had technique to it. They just all had steel shaft, but with graphite, I feel like you can feel the weight more. It is also toe heavy because I have a little bit of a curvy arc with my putting stroke. And then I have a Flatso 2.0 Super Stroke Putter Grip and I've had this for at least seven years. It's one of my favorite Super Stroke Putter Grips. It's not completely around, that's why it's called a Flatso. It's like flat on the top and then you can grip your putter on the bottom or grip grip your hands on the bottom um, and it, this is supposed to be counterbalanced but I actually did a little bit of you know golf 101 on my own club I took actually the weight out so nothing I don't feel anything on the handle I feel all the weight on the putter head and that's how I feel my speed with my putts but again that's personal to me that's how I like to feel my clubs and I found that by doing a trial and error process with all the other fun putting stuff they have in the world so yeah that's my putter I've been having this in the bag for probably I want to say three years it's been doing me really well makes me Lot of putts so it's still in the bag the day i don't make any putts next putter is gonna come out <laughs> golf ball i always keep it in my middle bag like this i play the tailor-made cp5x no specific number i do like to play ones or threes though i'll play whatever number um it has to be the x though because i love the feel i love the spin i've played with this ball ever since it came out from the penta and the um, tour preferred before i forget the other names but before tailor-made was famous for their golf ball i've always used tailor-made i loved it and they started giving me free stuff when I was younger, so that's why I started using it. I always use a line on it, and I always color the T in there because that just makes it me, and that's my specific marking, so I know I don't play another ball uh, that's not mine, but this is definitely my favorite golf ball on the market. Again, that's for me. Y'all can like something else, but I like my tailor-made. <laughs> All right, this golf bag is actually one of my favorite golf bags. I mean, look at this. It's a really limited edition Jones golf bag and it's very light. It has this nice soft padding that feels like it's a teddy bear. The bag would be really bad in the rain though because it would just drench out because it's, you know, made all this nice material. But I've had this bag for a couple of years. Cool story, I actually won this from a member. A member bet me that he could beat me straight up from the same tees and I was like, sure and i was like what if i win and he's like you can buy whatever you want in the golf shop and i was like okay i want the limited edition most expensive high-end jones bag he's like okay and then i beat him you know three up this is why i have the golf bag my name is right here um it's really nice to have a kind of incognito hossie logo down there because you know i love hossie but it's a little bit of a camo design a little bit tomboyish but that is kind of my style i actually have a matching backpack to this as well so if you see me teaching i have my gray jones backpack as well that matches this golf bag because you know you gotta go in style. So that is my special edition Jones golf bag. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that was my what's in the bag for 2022. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. This is what I play every day until I get my next set of clubs, but these work. I'm not gonna change until I get another one. If you guys like this video, share, like, subscribe. And I'm curious to see what's in your bag as well. So comment down below what you think and what you have, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.